Hello and welcome back to the next episode of our Near Replicant Let's Play series. You join me here in a seafront with the gang. They're somewhere running around. But we've got the blue marlin that this man requested, so let's go ahead and turn those in. These the fish you wanted? Well, I'll be. Never thought I'd see the day. They were quite easy to catch. Well done, Master Fisherman. Seems I've but one technique left to teach you. Well, I taught you everything I know, but that don't mean you can stop learning. It's a big world out there, with fish the likes of which no man has ever seen. There we go, we completed the Fisherman's Gambit Part 8. Any more? Looks like we have another one. You know, I reckon you might just have what it takes to catch the fish. The Hynaria. The Hynaria? No man has ever hooked a Hynaria and lived to tell the tale. If you can do it, then you're a fisherman beyond even my own skill. Okay, the Hynaria, huh? Hmm. Alright, well, that one I think we have to catch over in the desert. Before I do that, though, before I head over to the desert... I need to buy some more sardines. I've only got four. Let's grab four more just so we have plenty of fish. We're going to need to fish that up with sardines. So <laughs> there we go. Just wanted to double check on that. Uh, let's see where else do we need to go. We've got quite a bit of traveling to do today. Oh, we need to head over towards the forest of myth, I suppose. Hold on a minute. Before I do that, let's actually head over to the desert then. I'll take the fast travel boat over that way. Yeah, let's do it that way. Make a little bit of my running time. Cut it in half a little bit. Learned of that. Anyway, enough about me. Yeah, I don't want to hear any more about your family life right now. Take me, take me to the desert. Let's go see if we can catch this fish. I'd honestly like to finish up the Fisherman's Gambit if I can. I've been working on it for so long. So this is my last lesson. Has that old fisherman actually taught you anything of use so far? Uh, well, the art of perseverance? I'd hardly credit him with that. <laughs> I don't know. We have been very persistent in trying to catch these. Hopefully this is the one I need. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping. Although, I'm going to say I'm going to miss the fishing quests once we complete them. Because I have had a lot of fun with them. Oh, this is a tricksy one. Hold on. There we go. You really got to pay attention to which way the fish is moving. There we go. We got him going down. Nope, no, nope, no. Nope. He's moving around again. I don't think this will be a sand fish. You have to catch those with the lure and you have to catch them in a different way. So this should be the fish that we need, I hope. I guess we're going to see here in a few minutes whenever I get it reeled in, if I can. There we go. Nope. Oh, he's a feisty one. There we go. Back over this way. I almost got him. Oh, I'm kind of excited, guys. I don't know why, but I've had a lot of fun fishing in this game. Holy heck! Y'all see the size of that fish? Wow, okay. Well, I guess that's it. This fishing certainly is fun. Yeah, yeah, it is. I'm grateful for everything the old fisherman taught me. Well, I'm glad to hear that. Let's head back and turn that in. This one time, my wife's... Yeah, anyway, okay, enough yeah. About me. Uh, enough about you. Let's go back to seafront real quick. I caught that one surprisingly fast. I, did, whoop, I didn't think I would catch it quite that easily. Wow, but the size of that fish was humongous. Oh no, I don't see the old man out there. What? Who are you? Whoa, no, I don't want to fish. Hey, um, where did Pops go? Ah, uh, the old fisherman. Didn't you hear? He passed away just this morning. Wait, I just picked up that quest from him. 
I guess that old war injury finally got the best of him. From what I understand, the guy used to be quite the mercenary. That explains a lot. He supposedly did all kinds of terrible things back in his day. So truth be told, no one in town much cared for him. But he sure seemed to enjoy your company. I think you made his last days some happy ones. Aww. I didn't even know the old guy was sick. Perhaps that is why he was in such a hurry to pass down his craft. You know, it's strange, but I feel like he's still here somehow, looking at me. I trust he is in heaven by now, settling down for a round by the pond. I hope you're right, Vice. Oh, wow. We don't even get to show him the final fish we caught? Oh, that's so sad. Oh, man. Why are all the little stories so sad in the second half of the game? Oh, no. Alright, well, let me head back to... Head back to our village. Let's take the fast travel. I wasn't expecting it to end that way. Oh, good night. Alright, my friend. Bob me back over. On my days off, the wife and I like to go for walks. Anyway, enough about me. Yep, take me back to Silver Crow's village, please. Alright. Well, I guess that's the end of our little fisherman. I'm gonna miss doing those. Oh, well. I guess we all have to move on, right? But for now, let me head over to the blacksmith and give him this coin that we're holding on to. I think we might have more parts to this quest, so I want to get them knocked out of the way. Yes, gold! That map was right all along. Not sure it's enough to roll around in, but maybe I can make it work. Oh, how wonderful. Now will you please promise to stop with all this treasure hunting? I promise, honey. From now on, it's nothing but good, honest work for me. Oh, but wait. There's one more thing. Here. This is the first map I ever found. Take it. I won't be needing it anymore. Hmm. This map's even more cryptic than the last one. Yet I feel confident the rubbish it will lead us to is the same. Now come. We've little time to waste with such trifles. Probably, but treasure hunting is all about believing in what's possible, Vice. Such things are beyond even my comprehension. Think of it as a game, if that helps. Now let's go talk to Popola and see if she can help with the map. Okay, so we need to head up to Popola. I am still looking for your lost boyfriend. Your harvest weren't so um, yeah. Well, I'm still looking for him. It's going to be a few more minutes. Man. Just give me the time, right? Alright, let's go talk to Popola and see what she has to say. Hopefully, she can point me in the right direction. Berries? Nope. Must be health salve. It's all good. I'm glad. I, I, it's really good to check that spot, actually. Because sometimes you get giant eggs. And I needed the giant eggs for weapon upgrades. That's how we were able to afford to get the spear that we're using upgraded. So, it's definitely worth collecting the little... Uh, shiny spots every time you pass by them. If not, you're going to be in trouble. Because it takes a long time to farm those ingredients. Alright, Popola. Hey, I've got another map for you. Alright, let me take a look. Here. Hmm. Well, the code on this is pretty tricky. But I think it's a map of the Northern Plains. It mentions something about the place where the Iron Bridge starts. But that's all I can make out. Sorry I can't be more help. No, this is great, Popola. Thanks. Okay. Looks like we need to head over to the Northern Plains then. I can do that real quick. Yeah? Yeah. Let's go run over there. We got to the Forest of Myth anyway, so we might as well. Alright, here we go out in the Northern Plains. So she said something about the bridge. I fathom that village setting up a mercantile. They must have truly opened their minds. Ah, oh, he's talking about the Ari. Yeah, I have my doubts. Aren't you glad to be going back home, Kaide? Home? That place is a shithole. Ooh, level 26. So nervous, we'll protect you. I got me taken care of. Worry about protecting yourself. Alright, well, go away, guys. I'm trying to look for a treasure here. 
I don't want to have to sit there and kill you guys. So it looks like this damaged bridge keeps going all the way over this way. Do I need to go? I need to go across the wooden bridge. But we've already taken care of the big bad that was here. So it should be okay. I guess we could probably head over to the RA2 while we're here. Although, it depends on, I guess, where the, um, the forest of myth sends me. Oh, dude, please don't do that. Thank you. Alright, did we get them all? No, we didn't. Where did you go? There you are. <laughs> Trying to be sneaky on me. So, over here. Oh, yeah, here we go. Looks like our treasure is here. Well, hopefully it's better than the last one. We obtained the spear, Labyrinth Shout. Nice. That is the weapon we've been looking for. It would appear this latest treasure map was the real thing. Yeah, I'd say this is an ample reward. There we go, and we have completed the da damaged map. I'm very glad about that. From what I understand, that's actually a pretty good spear. So I may look into upgrading it and seeing how it does for us. Which we do need to head over to the junkyard while we are in this part of the world. We do have a quest up there to obtain toad oil or something like that from the merchant back in uh, Seafront. So we'll probably do that before we head over to the Ari. I have the feeling the Ari is going to set me up on... Some kind of a grand adventure or two. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can find somebody who wants to talk to me. There's not many people here, so I can't imagine it could be too hard to track them down. Magic capsule. I don't need a medicinal. Yep, here he is over here. What is that? Spirit capsule. I don't know what those are for. Wait, what? A man with a gold necklace? Uh, you know him? You bet I do. Goddamn bastard ran off with my wife. Wait a minute. I thought he had a girlfriend. If you find him, bring him back here so I can murder the bastard. Uh, sure. I'll consider that. Listen, do you know where he went? Last I heard, someone saw him in Seafront. Goddamn bastard. I can't even bear to look at my wife anymore. Guess it's back to Seafront for us. Okay, well, it looks like we need to head back to Seafront. Hmm, maybe I should have come here before I uh, ran all the way over there in the first place, but it's all good. We'll get them all done eventually, right? Alright, I need toad oil, sir. How can I, I need a vial of toad oil for some medicine? Pulling an all-nighter, eh? Well, good luck with that, sir. Huh? All that shade slaying must be tough. I bet you use this stuff all the time. I have no idea what's happening, but whatever. Let's just get this back to the client. Okay. Hmm, what to do, what to do. Ah, welcome, welcome. How are you? How you doing? Hey there. How are things? Great. Things are great. Couldn't be better. Shades just took over the second floor of the junk heap is all. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Does it matter? No one cares. Folks don't go in that far anyway. Just makes it hard to gather materials for my new weapons. Okay. If you can't work on weapons, that affects me. I'm gonna go clear them out. <laughs> Good luck. You ain't getting very far. Oh, wow. He has really gone off his rocker. Shades tore up all the elevator machinery on the first floor. Ripped it up! If you want to use it, you gotta switch out the parts. Can you make those parts? I could if I had five broken batteries and five broken motors. Alright. I'll get the stuff and you make the parts. Deal? I think I already have that. I've got the materials. Yeah, I figured I did. Killed some robots, did you? <laughs> Killed them good? Ripped them apart? Well, let me get to work on this. Oh my good night. Here, just put this in the elevator at the far end of the first floor. Good luck in there. Don't get dead. Yeah, dude, we need to work on the crazy pills for you. Could you bash up a bunch? By the way, yeah. what can I help you with? Yeah, I, first of all, what do you have to, to sell? I think I might need more iron ore. 
I'm not sure though. I was just wanted to make sure he didn't have any Come weapons. <laughs> no, I want to wep upgrade a weapon. Up, by the way. Yeah. What can I help you with? Yeah, I just want to strengthen a weapon. Um, which one is it? The Phoenix Dagger. What do I need for that? I need two giant eggs. Dang. Okay. What am I? I'm using. Oh wait, did we pick up? I could do that, but it's not going to give me very much more power. That one I still need. Oh, yeah, I used one of my crystals. That's right. No, I, the, the thing that we're using, the spear, I'm using the phoenix spear. I'd like to upgrade it again. I need the eagle egg for that one. Oh, we have all the labyrinth weapons? I wonder how that one would do, but that's only going to get me up to 192. Hmm. I don't know. I might need to look into that. Alright. The queen. I need crystals. I don't know where to find crystals. I might need to look into those. Alright. Eagle eggs. Yeah, that's over at the area. I need to go and farm for that. Alright, well, while we're here, let's go deal with his problem. I wasn't expecting to have to go back into the junk heap so soon, but it's all good. I don't mind. As long as you guys don't mind watching. <laughs> but anyways, let's head in here. I definitely do not think I'm going to be making it over to the area again today. This is a shame. I sort of really wanted to go over that way, but again, I, I wanted to get these yeah side quests out of the way. Because, like I've said, I think we are fast approaching the end of the game. I think I need to go all the way through. No, this takes me to the first elevator. That's not the one I want. Uh, yeah, I need to go back. Back this way, right? Through here? Wait a minute. Did that take me back to the beginning? That just took me right back to the beginning. Holy bobs, people. I need to go that way. It's not what this is the way I need to go. He's oh, that's right. I can turn. I forgot. I just saw the the door there. I forgot I could turn the corner. Good gravy. You think I hadn't been here before or something? That should be good enough to get me up there, right? Yeah, it is. Alright. And then here. No, can you go back up? There we go. Let's head over that away once I kill these robots out of the way. Oh, yay, more machine parts. I think I just need to go up here. And this should be the elevator here. So, not too bad. So, we just need to replace the parts in this elevator, right? Perfect. There we go. Now we can head up to the second floor. All right, let's do that. Second floor, please. Thank you. Last time we were here, there was nothing there, though. There was absolutely no shades at all or robots. Huh. Well, he did say they just took over. First mechanical oh, yeah. monsters and now shades. Some manner of curse been placed on this mountain. Feels like it. Hey, there are shades to kill. It's fine with me. Um, here comes some more. They certainly are dedicated to this attack. Hmm. Yeah, they really do like coming down here now, don't they? So now we don't have just robots to fight. We've got these guys as well. It's fine. I don't mind killing them too. I am uh, just not as crazy as our little friend up in the uh, the two brothers weapon shop is. He has definitely um burned through a few of his marble pack. We, nope. There we go. Oh, hey! Did not see you guys here. Okay, well that makes things a bit different. Let's do some of that. Yeah, it makes it a little bit hard to get around the backs of them there. There we go. Okay, people. Hold on. My used coloring books. 
there we go. Use those to help thin them out a little. Good gravy. Oh, did we get them all? No, not yet. I think we did now, right? No, we didn't. Still one hiding out in the corner. Okay, hold on, hold on. Oh, holy... Mm. Yeah, okay, hold on, hold on. This is a bit more complicated. A very small ring here to be doing this many shades at one time. I thought for sure we'd be getting out of there after that last batch. Apparently not. There we go. Can we get behind him, though? Good gravy. He was not kidding when he said they took over the place. There we go. Okay, can we do some of that to knock them down? Gotta get that armor off of Oh, and they roll now? What the bobs? Oh, I can't do anything if you're gonna be in the corner. Nope, I can't get behind you. Can do that, though. There we go. That got him. Holy Those heck. Are tricky when they work together like that. Yeah, they are. I doubt this will be the last time we see such a tactic. We'd best use caution in the future. Yeah. Especially if they're working that close together like that. So was that all the ones I needed to take out? I mean, I'm good with it. Yeah, it feels like that was all of them. Okay, let's... Head back up. That must have been a meal. I heard that swoosh. Let's get back up to the first floor. That was over pretty quick, honestly. Just wasn't expecting to see many of them in that room. It's insane. Alright. Back out, and it should be just a straight shot back towards the door. We don't need to make any detours or anything. Right now, I don't need any parts for any other quests that I know of. Although, that's, uh... That remains to be seen, right? I still have a few more to pick up that I... I know Devil I had. I'm not sure what those are going to entail. But let's get back over to Gideon. I forget his name. Alright, kiddo. I was able to collect your... Or tell your shades. Floor shades. Thanks much. Thanks much. Now I can make my weapons even more powerful. And kill even more robots. <laughs> yeah, are you concerned Gideon. about the shades? I mean, one of those things killed your brother after all. No, they didn't. Liar. Liar! Robots killed my brother, not Shades. Big, nasty robots. Squashed him like a bug. Gonna kill the robots. Rip them up. Rip them all up. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jacob? Right? <laughs> I fear the lad's mind is gone. He seems capable of nothing but hate for those mindless mechanical automatons. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty far gone. I think we're just going to head back over to Seafront and and check on uh, the guy that, the boyfriend that we've been following and turn in our other thing, our toad oil. Alright, we've made it over to Seafront. I was actually able to fast travel from the Northern Plains. But first, I want to stop over here. I have a feeling he's got another area or errand he's gonna send me on here's your toad oil great and here's your fee ten thousand thank you Ooh, this is the key to my seasickness medicine i just know it right next morning hey there any luck with the new medicine uh not quite it seems this time I've somehow concocted a potent sleep prevention drug. With this, you could stay awake for a week straight. I call it sleep be gone. Maybe you should quit this sailing thing and become an apothecary. You know, that's not a bad idea. All right, then. From now on, I'm out of the trading business and opening a pharmacy. Right. Well, good luck with that. Oh, we finished it. That man certainly has a gift for odd medications. Yep. Imagine a drug that lets you forego sleep for an entire week. 
Might you care to try it? I'll pass, thanks. Hmm, yeah, definitely. Alright, ma'am, can I talk with you? The man with the necklace? Oh, I know him. I know him very well. If you get my meaning. Okay. Truth be told, I haven't seen him for almost five years. But I know he's coming back to me. That's a really long time. You don't think maybe... He promised he'd come back and he will. He was honest and he loved me. Not like that old husband of mine, let me tell you. This man seems to have quite the gift for swindle. Yeah, he does. Sure seems like it. Okay. That still has Did you see that huge ship? I want to explore it. Yeah, that doesn't help me out. Oh, wait a minute. What do you have to say? Oh, that guy. Yeah, he was pretty shady. I heard he beat it for the north after folks caught wind of his counterfeit goods. He beat it for the north. The north. The, the northern plains again. So I was running around the town. And I... To buy a couple of... So I was running around town. I wanted to buy a few things while I was here. And I noticed that guy up there. I wonder, can I... Yeah, I can just jump up. The man with the necklace. Yeah, sure, I remember him. Heard he took off for the junk heap earlier. Great, now the junk heap? Maybe he ran into the two brothers? Maybe. Oh, wait a minute. Didn't... I wonder... Ooh. Oh, I wonder. Alright, let me head back over to the Northern Plains. I think I know how this one's going to play out. Um, I don't know. Let's find out. Get over there again. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Enough. enough about your love life. Take me to the northern plains, please. That man simply hops from one woman to the next, does he not? He's been cheating this whole time. That's just terrible. Doubtless he will end up suffering at the hands of one of his paramours sooner or later. I don't think he means any harm. This kind of thing just happens with attractive guys. That's awful! What if a man did that to you, Kaine? He'd wake up a little less man than he used <clears> to. <throat> Change my mind. Cheating is always wrong. <laughs> yeah! I love it. Oh, that was funny. Oh my good night. I don't want to fight these guys. But I have a feeling maybe the woman that the brother's mom wanted to run off with, or not the woman, but the man the brother's mom wanted to run off with, is the guy that we've been looking for and he's been dead for five years that's kind of the impression I'm getting from this because so far she's the only one we know that was running away with somebody right I guess we're gonna find out as soon as we get back up here oh this has been one heck of a strange quest I don't think we're gonna be making it to the airy today guys though mmm Okay, it's all good though. It's all good. I uh I can always change my plans around. I'm having fun with this quest. It's a lot more interesting than what I thought it was going to be. I figured it was just going to be another one of those ones where I just run around and do things, but yeah, it's been interesting. All right, let's see what uh Gideon has to say. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, got a question for you. Did a guy with a gold necklace come around here maybe five years ago or so? Sure did. Mom used to spend a lot of time with him. Oh, no. Don't tell me he's the guy we found with their mom in the junk heap. Sorry, what? Oh, nothing. Never mind. We can hardly keep this a secret from all parties, and yet I can't imagine how to begin telling them. So now we need to head back to our village and tell the lady oh, let's there. Let's just tell the client. Gideon doesn't need to know. Yeah. Yes, I suppose that would be the wisest course of action. Yeah, he's already... Yeah, I think it's too far... He's too far gone for it to really matter anymore. He's been dead all along. Poor guy. One could say he received his just reward. 
Still, could. he was with a woman he loved at the very end. So I trust his final moments were happy ones. There's nothing happy about dying. I suppose this means the matter will always be a mystery to us. Mm, true. Hopefully, the last woman he was with was the one he loved the most. Although he does seem pretty fickle, if you ask me. But, you know, the brothers both thought that she was going to be with someone that she was very much in love with. And I think I don't want to take that away from Gideon. So if the game had even given me that choice, I probably would not have said anything to him. But for now, we just need to head back into the village and uh, turn this in. And we'll be done with that one. And then I'm going to check in with Devola and see if she has any more for me. Which I'm sure she does. I was kind of hoping one or two of them would send me over to the airy. Hoping they would have something. And it would keep me, you know, at least going in the direction I need to be heading. Instead of running around doing all the side quests. But I'm having a lot of fun with them. Alright, ma'am. Well, forget her ill. I've got news. Hey, I tracked down your boyfriend. You did? Where is he? I'm sorry to tell you this, but he's dead. We found his body five years ago in the junk heap. I had a feeling that might be the case. It's the only thing that could explain him not contacting me for so long. Thanks. I think I can move on with my life now. Here's a little gift for you. I appreciate you doing all that legwork for me. Well, I'm very glad she's able to get some closure now. Not bad, not bad. Alright, she got her closure. Let me check in with Devola while we're here. See what she's got for me. Alright, Miss Devola. Hmm. Which job should I give you I first? I guess a memorable knife. That's Seems all I have left. There's a man looking for a rather unique piece of cutlery. He says he'll pay whatever it takes. Ooh, how exciting. I wrote down the client's location on your map. So, head over there to get the details. Somebody who would need a knife? Probably the innkeeper in Seafront, right? <laughs> yep. Okay. Oh, good gravy. So, we're going to be ending the episode over where we began, it looks like. How many more side quests do I have right now? Let's double check. Life in the Sands. Okay, well, I can't do anything about that one until tomorrow. Because I have to wait uh, 48 hours for my seeds to pop up. And I'm probably going to have to plant more flowers. So that one is probably going to be one of the last side quests we complete. Hmm. It's all good though. I'm, I will get it done. I don't know if it's important to the story or not. But Even I'm having fun with it. Busy. Yep. Anyway, enough about me. Yeah, take me back to the place we all began. Seafront. If this one does not take too long, I may go ahead and try and do it today. So we definitely can move on in the next episode. I don't know how long this one's going to be. Or what he's going to need. It's definitely going to be something. Alright, sir. Nope. Right, sir. Nope. Nope. The right one. There we hey, go. You got time to help me with something? Sure. Go on. I need you to buy a kitchen knife from Two Brothers Weaponry and bring it back to me. I'm willing to pay a handsome sum for it. Why not just buy one here in town? Why go to such lengths for a mere household utensil? Absolutely not. The knife must come from the junk heap. I'll pay whatever it takes. Well, if you say so. Thanks. When you bring me the knife, I'll give you the money. Okay. I can do that real quick. That's not going to take me but a couple of minutes. And then it'll be done, I hope, and uh, we'll be closer to getting all the side quests completed. I've decided to tell my wife a killer joke that makes her bust a gut once a day. <laughs> Great idea, right? Hey, by the way, you don't happen to know... No, anyway, I don't. Enough about me. Yeah, no, I don't. Uh, take me to the Northern Plains, please. He's paying a lot of money for us to go find some old cooking knife. Whether for love of food or fine cutlery... There is little doubt this man is a serious customer. 
Maybe we could buy a whole bunch of knives for him. Then we'd be rich. If he had 20 arms and could wield a weapon in each one, I am certain he would purchase a great many knives for himself. <laughs> that would be Maybe. awesome. Nice. <laughs> this is a really stupid conversation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was funny. Oh, I swear. Anyways, I'm so glad I do not have to pay for the fast travel. Holy heck. I would be broke as much as I've been fast traveling in the last couple of episodes. But it has so saved on my travel time. It's cut it in half immensely. Do I? Can I get that? No, it's just some medicinal orb that I don't really need. I'll be fine. Alright, let's get up to the junk heap one final time. And then we can go turn this quest in. And probably be done for the day. Probably by the time I get it all edited down, it's going to be a very short video for you. Which is good, yeah? And then in the next one, I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that we can move on to the Ari. I really need to be over there to see if I can farm that Phoenix egg, or that Eagle Egg. But I'm afraid to go over there before I'm ready to, story-wise. In case it kicks off a piece of story that I don't want to miss. Alright, in here we go, hopefully for the last time. Or at least until I bob over here to get a weapon upgrade. But that I'll probably do off camera. Alright, in we get. Let's talk with our friend Gideon again. Hey, you carry kitchen knives? Sorry, we're out of stock. Don't even have the materials to make one. Are these materials something I could get? Sure. I just need ten titanium alloys. You can get them from some of those stupid robots. Got it. I'll be back. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Not, not the titanium alloy again. Are you kidding me? How many do I have? I have four. Okay. That's not hey bad. guys. Well, I decided instead of adding this into another episode, what I would do is go ahead and run down and do all the grinding. And it only took me one pass through on at the junk keep to get all the titanium alloy I needed. So let's go ahead and finish this quest off and then we can call it an episode. Alright, Gideon, I found what you, you needed. That titanium alloy you wanted. Great. I'll get to work on the knife right away. There you go. One world famous junk heap kitchen knife. World famous, huh? Vegetable or bone, nothing cuts better. It's based off a design from my father. Your father cooked? Yeah, he did pretty much all the cooking. All mom could do was bake bread. That's nothing to sneeze at. I sure miss those days. <laughs> okay, let's head back to Seafront. And, uh, yeah. Kind of stay away from the junk heap for a little while. I think Gideon... Um, Gideon needs a friend. I guess his father liked cooking too, huh? Sounds like it. I hear lots of men are getting into cooking lately. I bet this guy just wanted a new hobby. Yes, yes. Well, we must be off. <laughs> oh, leave it to bias, right? All right. Well, let me get us over to you, see, friend. Oh my good night. I tell you what, it's been a uh, definitely been an episode of running around. Actually, two episodes, huh? But hopefully most of that's going to be coming to an end. It feels like I've pretty much wrapped up the 90% or more of all the side quests. Yeah. Excuse me. Please don't do that. I will definitely be checking in with Devola in between ep episodes to see if she has anything more for me. But I think until I at least go over to the Ari, there probably are not going to be any more. At least that's what I would assume. Because none of them have sent us over that way. Hopefully. I don't know. I'm not quite sure. I'd never looked into how many side quests are in this game. I just know that there are quite a few. And some of them have been, I don't know, quite complex to uh, deal with. But all have been fun in their own way. Alright, sir. One more time. My wife scolded me for wearing... Anyway, yep. Enough about yep. Take me back to seafront, please. All right, back over, nope, not that way, excuse me. Back over across the bridge, we can talk to him. 
Hopefully he doesn't have anything else he needs me to go do. And uh, we should be good and done, right? Mm, yep. Here's the knife you wanted. Thank you. Uh, how's Gideon getting along, by the way? Don't tell me you're his father. What do you mean? Well, you know, he doesn't have a father and all. Oh, okay. I was just wondering if he was doing all right. The lad travels a hard and lonely road, but he seems to be making a decent life for himself. That's good to hear. Is something going on here? No, no, no. Uh, anyway, here's your reward. He's his father, isn't he? Are you kidding me? Because we don't know what happened to Gideon's dad. As far as I can remember. Oh, he kind of sounded like Gideon's dad. Ooh, that's a conspiracy I hope we get to revisit. I'd love to know about that for sure. Anyways, this is definitely where we are going to be ending it for the day. In the next episode, we're going to be heading over to the Ari and seeing what new things and possibilities open up for us over there. But for now, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Ball Girl. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I see you in the next one.